In this week's edition of Pass the FE Exam, I'm going to explain how to register for the FE exam and also give you an update on how COVID is affecting the FE exam. Before I do that, let me remind you that the FE exam or Fundamentals of Engineering is the first step to getting your professional engineering license. And through the videos on this channel, you will learn not only how to properly prepare for the exam, but how to ensure that you pass the FE exam. So please consider subscribing to my channel here as my weekly videos will help you pass the FE exam. And if you leave questions in the comments below, I will answer them on future videos. Let me start this week by reminding you that the Fundamentals of Engineering, or the FE exam, is designed for recent engineering graduates and students who are close to finishing an undergraduate engineering degree from an EAC or ABET accredited program. It is a computer-based exam administered year-round at NCAAS approved Pearson VU test centers. The FE exam includes 110 questions and the exam appointment time is six hours with about five hours and 20 minutes of that time being actual exam time. All right, so how do you register for the exam? Simple, you register for the FE exam by visiting the NCAES website, specifically account dot ncwes dot org forward slash login and scroll to the bottom of the page and click create an account then simply complete the form and submit it and you will have a my ncwes account which is a free integrated system that allows you to maintain all of your licensure related information in one place again simply visit account dot ncwes dot org forward slash login i've put the link in the description of this video in fact, why don't you pause the video and do it right now. All right, now that you've got your My NCAAS account set up, let me talk about how COVID has impacted the FE exam. Firstly, you should know that the FE exam is administered year round via computer based testing at Pearson View test centers. In regard to those testing centers, just last week on November 24th, NCAES posted an update on its website with regard to the testing centers. They stated that many state and local governments are implementing operational and capacity restrictions in response to the current COVID-19 surge throughout the country. In many cases, these restrictions limit testing to essential services only. All NCAES exams are designated as essential and will continue to be administered as allowed in accordance with state and local requirements. Appointment cancellations may be necessary to comply with reduced capacity requirements. Impacted examinees will receive notification and rescheduling information via email from Pearson View. Visit the Pearson View coronavirus update page for the most current information on test center operations. And again, I've posted a link to this Pearson View page in the video description below. So there you have it. Now you can set up your My NCAES account if you haven't already, and you have a COVID update on the FE exam. I do hope that you found this video helpful. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly. So please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And these are tips that you won't be able to find anywhere else. And believe me, you won't want to miss a single video. Lastly, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a question that you'd like me to answer. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week. <music>